Nashindwa na malisi na we Ninge kuwa malaika Nashindwa na malisi na we Ninge kuwa malaika Richard Lundgren and I was with the uh, Tanganyika, first Tanganyika group in 1961 and uh, didn't, didn't make it to Tanganyika but was hired by the staff and worked with the staff in, in Puerto Rico in, uh, near Arecibo and uh, one of the things I remember most is uh, on my honeymoon I came back to visit the camp because uh, I wanted to check the swimming pool because I did all the engineering work and I wanted to make sure it held water when I got there. So it was fun going back up there and seeing everybody and I was surprised how much of my Spanish came back when I got up there. So it was a real thrill. Okay, I'm Tom Cadis. I was in the first group ever, Tanganyika 1. We claim to be ahead of Ghana and Colombia because we beat them in by one day. I was stationed in Morogoro, worked a lot in the bush out in Mikumi and every place else all over Eastern Region. My Peace Corps sidekick was Jerry Parson, the first African American in Peace Corps. Tom and Jerry got way much, too much publicity. Jeremiah Parson, uh, Peace Corps number one, Morogoro, Tanganyika. Uh, my partner was Tom Cadis from South Dakota, I'm actually from upstate New York originally. Together a minute. So you two guys were stationed together in in, in, in Morogoro. In Morogoro. Okay. Great. And all over Eastern Region. Okay. <laughs> My name is Arthur Young. I was in the first group of Peace Corps volunteers to go to Tanganyika. I was a civil engineer. I was working on road construction from Mikumi, where the game park is, to the Kilimbaro Sugar Plantation. Fantastic, thank you. This is Ann Young. My maiden name was Ann Quink. Uh, I served in Tanga Tanganyika II, uh, which was a project of nurses and lab techs. Um, I served from 1962 to 1964. I was stationed for one year at Muhimbili Hospital in Dar es Salaam and for one year at uh, Mwanza at Sikuture Dispensary. Um, the Peace Corps was just a wonderful time uh, for me. It opened all kinds of doors. Uh, one of the most memorable things though was um, the day that Kennedy was assassinated. Uh, I rode my bike to work. We didn't have a radio to listen to so I wasn't aware of the news. Uh, the matron uh, asked myself and my roommate Sutan Skimper to come into her office and gave us the news of uh, Kennedy's assassination. Uh, she gave us the day off. We walked through the local marketplace and all the people we met um, expressed their sympathy and talked about what a great man Kennedy was. Um, so that's one of the most memorable. There were many, but that was the best. Thank you. I'm Bob Milhouse. I was in Tanga first group to went to Tanzania or Tanganyika and uh, I spent 1961 to 63 there. Part of that time in Mwanza, which was a rather in place to be and one of my memories is the hyenas outside our door. I served in Tanzania Tanga, Tanzania from 1962 to 1964, yes. Uh, I lived in the uh, little town of Tanga and there were seven nurses there. Uh, we enjoyed our stay very much. It was a wonderful experience, the best experience of my life. Hi, this is Donna Abner Chalmers and I was in Tanganyika 2 group. Uh, we were all nurses. And um, I was in Dar es Salaam, the capital city, the first year, and we decided we wanted to go more into the bush. So the second year, I went into Tabora. And uh, I have recently returned in 2011 and uh, support a school at El Boro School in Arusha for children with disabilities. And I would have never done that had I not been in the Peace Corps. 
My name is Fran Klauberg and I served in the Peace Corps in 1962 as an operating room nurse in Dar es Salaam, East Africa, Tanganyika. Okay, I'm Mary Stafford Marsalis and I was in Tanganyika too. I was stationed in Dar es Salaam in 62-3 and I was a nurse at the hospital there. Malaika, Ninge Kuo Malaika.